Hey class, Dr. Sands here. I wanted to take a minute to go through your first assignment in the class. All right, so uh, analyzing the evolution of the U.S. healthcare delivery system. This is a really fun uh, exercise. Like I said, I authored this class, so um, let's uh, take a walk through it. So from the 18th century, healthcare in the United States evolved from a simple system of home remedies and inherent uh, doctors with little training to a complex scientific, technological, and bureaucratic system often called the healthcare delivery system. This system is built on medical science and technology, the uh, authority of medical professionals, and an array of uh, clinicians, hospitals, healthcare facilities, insurance plans, and purchasers of healthcare services all operating in various uh, configurations of groups, networks, and independent uh, practices. Whew, that's a mouthful, mouthful. For this assignment, you'll research and analyze the evolution of the U.S. healthcare delivery system from its earliest formation, i.e. back in the 18th century, so it's like 1700s or something, earliest uh, formation to current times. All right, so that is the overall assignment. And if we start to break it down, what does that look like? Okay, so here are your assignment instructions. Research the evolution of the US healthcare delivery system and write a research paper. So right there, when it says research paper, you know it's gonna be a uh, you know full APA formatting, right? So you have to make sure you look at my um, the video I posted on APA formatting and I had uh, the sample paper and with this assignment um, well all assignments you want to use you know level one headings and on this one in particular you may need to use level two and maybe even level three um, but level one and two most like level one for sure level two most likely so if you haven't watched it uh, pause this one and go watch the uh, my video on APA formatting is just a few minutes long. It'll definitely bear fruit. I used to teach APA a long time ago and uh, the APA manual is great, but you only really need a few particular things out of the APA manual uh, for these length of papers. All right, there's my soapbox on APA. Let's keep going. Create a concept map that uh, visually represents the key components of the current uh, U.S. healthcare delivery system. So, uh, also, if you look in the announcement section, there is a video I created about concept mapping. So, um, if you're not sure about what it is, or maybe you know, kind of sure, uh, why don't you go ahead and once you get through, we get through going through this assignment, then uh, go watch that video as well that I'll fill you in on concept mapping. Okay, so create a concept map that visually represents the key components of the current U.S. healthcare delivery system. Based on your concept map, what would you change to improve the U.S. healthcare delivery system? So you're going to create a concept map on the existing healthcare delivery system, right? And then um, what would you change? So you know, the healthcare delivery system, as we noted, or as I uh, uh, articulated in the opening paragraph, <clears throat> it's complex. There's a lot of pieces. So when you create your map of the existing healthcare delivery system, you know, what piece would you look to change? I, I wouldn't say to potentially revamp the entire healthcare delivery system, but take a piece and say, this is what I want to this is what I would change and then why okay now as we continue uh, what impact would that proposed change have on communities organizations and other key stakeholders so your map then your what you would change so your map is going to be a standalone and then as you start to write you know this is what you would change, why you would change it, and then the impacts to communities, organizations, and other key stakeholders. So as you can see, there's layering already that's happening within your written assignment. And that's why I said, 
you're going to want to know about level one, level two, maybe level three headings to make sure that your paper is properly layered. Now, also, you know, in using the headings, you can create, you know, your uh, working template, your, your outline as well. All right, let's continue. Number two, choose from two of the following key components of the U.S. healthcare delivery system to do further research on. So there's four listed here, hospital systems, health insurance, public health, and medicine and medical education. So those are the four main bullets, right? Now, once you pick two, then you continue on to the sub bullets on what you're to do. Who are the key organizations and stakeholders for each of the service components? Identify four key milestones for each component and discuss why it's important to the healthcare system. And then the next sub bullet, uh, what were the major events? Create a timeline of the key milestone with the date range of the events. So that, like I said, there's a lot of moving pieces in this paper. <clears throat> next bullet. What services does each component of the U.S. healthcare delivery system provide? Why are these services important? What are some social, organizational, policy, and or technological experience by this component of the U.S. healthcare delivery system? Support your response with an authorized source. So again, this is research-based. So specifically, you have to source where you get that information, okay? So that's all the work that you're gonna be doing, you know, for the assignment. Uh, now, when you think about the assignment requirements, and we're gonna jump over to the rubric, to the syllabus and look at the rubric here in just a minute, because it ties it together. Concept map of the US healthcare delivery system. We talked about that up here in number one. Uh, discussion of change to U.S. to improve the U.S. healthcare delivery system. That's what we talked about here within, you know, within number one. And then discussion on key delivery components of components and it's important, uh, important to and it's important to healthcare. Sorry about that. So that's really number two and all of this here. So that is how you're going to shape up your paper. So let's. Hold on to that for a second because we're going to look at the rubric and why it's important to use, uh, you know, the level one headers that align to your assignment and specifically the rubric. Okay, so citation requirements minimum two uh, authorized resources. Now remember, one's called out specifically in this section. So when I read your paper, I'm going to be looking for a resource uh, a citation that's specifically here. And then you're going to have another one you're going to use at a minimum, you know, in your paper. Now, remember, um, your any any reference you use has to be used at least one time within the paper, the body of your paper, as an in-text citation. <clears throat> Word count 500 to 750. Um, I think it's going to be longer than that to really uh, provide the breadth and depth necessary to uh, to uh, articulate everything that's required. And when I uh, grade papers, uh, I really don't pay much attention to the word count because what I'm doing is I'm reading your paper and I'm just that, I'm looking at the breadth and depth by which you um, wrote about the assignment. You know, I can tell if you're just trying to skate through it or if you really did the research and you're writing about it especially healthcare since I've been in for 20 years and especially since I authored this class okay so APA formatting again we talked about it a few minutes ago um, if you haven't watched the video do it to brush up even if you feel good about APA watch the video because there's, you know, there's again I tweeze out just a few important things out of APA that you really need and then plagiarism submission so you know with uh, the plagiarism checker turn it in you know it's going to look like uh like it has for years on if you know any of your works plagiarized using anybody else's work etc also now 
it scans for um, you know if you've used AI to write your paper um, you know there's certain algorithms that they put into play so if you're thinking about using chat GPT to write this assignment please don't um, the plagiarism checker specifically the AI piece it's it's gonna detect it uh, it always does so and this is a great assignment good learning opportunity so don't don't use uh, chat GBT or any AI other thing to write it for you all right so we're almost done what I want to do is all this we discuss I want to tie it to the grading rubric now because remember when I go to when I read your paper or your assignment and I grade it it's going to be against this rubric that the university created and uh, us professors grade by so remember the three the three here right one two three right here content healthcare concept map content changes to the US, US healthcare system content service components so those will want to serve as your as your your th your three main level one headers and then you write everything within those sections right so when I look at your your paper your assignment I first thing I want to see is okay well your introduction you can write about that and the first level one header is going to say changes to the US healthcare system then you write about it then your next and then you may have level two or threes under there and the next level one header is going to be um, changes to the US uh, excuse me so the first ones uh, the concept map right you know right an opening and then your map then the second level one header changes to the US healthcare delivery system right about all that the third and final level one header is going to be service components and then you write about that okay so as you can see when I look at your paper see those level one headers they line align directly with the grading rubric okay so title page I have an expanded title page your introduction you know introduction is a paragraph three to five sentences right then level one header uh, concept map level one header changes your healthcare system level one header service components then your conclusion and your reference list okay and its references all right so what does it take to get exemplary on each one of these sections right so here's your healthcare concept map skillfully and thoroughly create concept map of the US healthcare delivery system what does it take to be exemplary on changes to the US healthcare system? Comprehensively discuss changes to improve the US healthcare delivery system. What does it take to be exemplary on service components? Comprehensively discusses key delivery components and its importance to healthcare. So as you can see, we start each one skillfully, skillfully and thoroughly comprehensively comprehensively okay remember I talked about breadth and depth of your what you write so then what's next value sources and evidence demonstrates consistent so that's important consistent use of credible uh, relevant sources to support ideas that are uh, uh, situated within the discipline and genre of the writing now remember it said you had a minimum of two you may have more than two and remember that one section specifically says you have to cite your your reference all right context of syntax uh, uh, mechanics and APA formatting uses straightforward language that generally conveys meaning to the readers so what I read it needs to convey what your thoughts are minimal errors in grammar spelling and other aspects of writing and referencing so you know again just grammar spelling basic and then applies APA formatting and includes reference list of works cited with few or minimal errors now you know when you provide your references there's a specific way APA requires you to reference them there's a format so make sure you get that right 
and then uh, this says work cited uh, uh, you know as per APA on your paper you don't say work cited it says references okay well that uh, I think brings us to the end of what I wanted to talk to you about uh, your first paper your first assignment um, and it's it, it's a good deal of work I wanted to go through it with you thoroughly to help articulate and bring another dimension of what the assignments requiring than you know just reading it if you have any further if you have any questions at all about the assignments um, feel free to email me and uh, happy to respond and if ultimately you struggle and we need to uh, have a conference call that's fine too all right well thank you for your time and i hope you enjoy this assignment and i wish you much success as you go through this and complete it all right dr sand signing out thanks